Where do you want to start? Should we start with Romelu Lukaku, who scored two important goals for you today and he's already cracked 21 goals in February? Important goals, difficult match. We need to score, I think, especially the first goal in the beginning gave us a little, a little space for a, an hypothetical uh, mistake. We know that we want to win this match, but um, a draw wouldn't be, wouldn't be a drama and take the, the game to, to Old Trafford. So the first goal, obviously important to put us in a good position, and then the second goal almost to kill, to kill the game. To twice attacking the space well, then called in, in the face of the goal, really good. Did you think you'd killed the game before half-time? Because we had a, a confusing incident, I think we'll all agree on that one. What was your view on the VAR? I keep saying that um, should be a, a referee's decision and not our decision. Why? Because the referees, they want to perform well. I don't think they are happy to make uh, mistakes. And if they have the VAR to help them to make the right decision, I think that probably the referees would be happy with that. But if the VAR <laughs> change their good decisions for bad decisions, I think they are not happy with, uh, with that. Um, during the game, of course, I don't know. Of course, I, I trust and I believe in the, v, in the VAR. It's a bit frustrating because uh, the moment I saw uh, Kevin touching his heel and it stayed there for a long time, I thought something is going to happen. But uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, it was a beautiful action, it was a beautiful goal. Then if it is um, offside or not offside, by the kneecap, by one hair, I don't know. Should it just be used in a clear and obvious situation? Because uh, when you're down to measuring the, a kneecap no, as an offside... Uh, after after the, our, our, our Premier League, the, the, the championship that I, f I follow more, obviously, is the Portuguese one, and we have the, the VAR in every match in, in our... Um, in our Premier League, and and I saw amazing, amazing things that put the true in the game, in the result, and that is 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 an amazing feeling. But I also saw some controversial decisions that um, bring the VAR into a doubt, a doubtful situation. I think our game is uh, is so beautiful that to change, we have to change for better. So you think there's still a fair way to go, a long way to go to get VAR right? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy if the decision is a little bit like the technology online, on the goal line. You know, I'm, I'm really happy with that. I'm really, really happy with that. Uh, I don't want to score a goal if the ball was not inside. I don't want to concede a goal if the ball didn't cross totally the line. So I'm happy with that true that comes from the goal line technology. If they find a way in the VAR that the VAR is always right and always bring the truth. I'm happy with that. Two goals, cup win, satisfying evening for you? Yeah, satisfying uh, for me personally, but for the team as well. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we, we had a difficult game in the league here and, you know, we, had, uh, we were well prepared. Everybody was, was up for it from the start and we did well today. And, of course, that's your 20th and 21st goal of the season. It's important for a striker to break through that 20-goal mark, isn't it? Yeah, but, I mean, I've been doing it for years now. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> So I have to keep going. I have to keep going. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm at Manchester United, and uh, the main goal is winning trophies. Juan, well, what about you? Did you think you had a goal there today? It seemed <laughs> I very did. confusing. I did. I celebrated. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, apparently in the VIR, they showed it was... Offside, I don't know. What do you think? It was just very tight, right? Well, you had a look as well. I think they managed to find a kneecap was offside. I don't know if that's clear and obvious, one. And two, we saw different versions. There's some wobbly lines on some of those screens. Yeah, well, I don't know. But the important thing is that it didn't really matter because we won anyway. Uh, but, yeah, it's the first time I, I meet Mr. VIR. Yes. Uh, what do you think? Like, in t terms of, do you think <laughs> it's, do you think there's still problems to be ironed out? Obviously. You know what? I'm I'm up for it, and I think it's needed, especially when there is a clear decision and a decision that can change the game, like a goal offside, red card. Uh, but hopefully, uh, it will be quicker as well. Uh, but I think it's good for football to to be a bit more fair. But on this 
on this particular instance, do you think this was a clear and obvious decision that needed to be revoked? I don't know. You know, I, I scored a goal. I celebrated. I went to Ashley, which gave me the pass. And then when I came to the dressing room, they told me, even watching in in, in the TV, that it didn't, it wasn't very very clear. So then, if the VAR is not clear, then what do we do? <laughs> You're into the last eight, Romelu, and of course it's a big week for, for United. Yeah. You've got Seville and Chelsea, so all looking good at the moment. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, you know, this win is important for us. It's, it's hopefully a good start for a good week. Hopefully, we need to prepare now to the next game. Seville away is not easy, and then Chelsea at home is not going to be easy either. But uh, you know, we're going to be ready. Thanks very much, gentlemen. Juan's still looking at the replay over my shoulder here. <laughs> I'm still not sure. I'm still not sure. <laughs> Thanks, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.